What's up guys, it's Monkey Bacon here from Sock Monkey Development. I'm really sick, and that's part of the reason why I haven't been making any tutorials lately. I'm super sorry. If you follow me on Twitter, you can find out when the latest tutorials are coming out, or you can message me and tell me to get my ass up and start making some. But, okay. Today, last time, we... I talked to you guys about tables a little bit, the best to my extent, and we inserted some data into them, and that data being some variables, x, y, and text. Now, today, we are going to be using those variables to print the text at the x and the y. Now, the thing is, we can't just type draw, we can't just draw the text. We have to go inside of the table and then tell it to draw the table's text. Now, there's a really long, confusing line of code that you have to type to get inside of this table. But I'll be explaining that in a second. <laughs> We're going to be making a new file called but or function called button underscore spawn. Or, uh, draw. Sorry. Wow. I'm off my game. Uh, button underscore draw. Now, <coughs> sorry. So what we need to do is type in this line of code so that whatever we type in afterwards is going to happen while we're accessing the table, if that makes any sense. So I'm just going to say it and then go back and explain it uh, the best I could. I'm really, ah, uh, it's a really long explanation and I'm not sure if I'm gonna go about it or if I can find an article that explains it okay but for space I comma V in <coughs> I pairs I pairs so for I comma V in I pairs and then open uh, parentheses and then type inside of here these parentheses is where you type in the table that you're going to be uh, accessing and in this case that's gonna be button and then close parentheses and then do and now we have to end that because that is a um, statement. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> okay. So now we, whatever we type in here is going to happen while we are accessing the uh, table. Now, one second. Let me. So we haven't dealt with tables at all before. I mean, we haven't really dealt with the logistics of tables before. We did the player table. But that was it. In this case, it's going to be kind of hard to explain. I'm going to try my best, and it might not make any sense, and it might just you might just want to skip forward. But if somebody has a good article or something, be sure to leave a comment, and I'll favorite it or reply so it's at the top and everybody can see it. Okay. So, imagine tables as a group of boxes. Okay? And each box has a label. That label's the I. This I here, this stands for index. So that, that label on the box is the I. It's a number. <laughs> it's a number. The index is a number. And so we're going to be accessing the i, the index, and the v, which is the inside of the table. The, the i and the, the i is what the table, which table it is, and the v is the insides of the table. And I'm sure there's something here that I'm doing wrong. I, I'm just really sick and I can't really twist my brain around anything right now. But so we're going the v is whatever's inside of this table and in this case it's button and we to access variables inside of this table you have to type v dot before you type the name of the variable so in this case we're going to be doing love.graphics.setColor and I'm going to set it to black since there's a white background and then love.graphics.setFont we have a font, don't we? We've had that since like the beginning. Yeah. Um. Oh jeez. <coughs> Set font medium. Okay. And then lastly, we're going to print it. Now we have the color and the font. We are going to print v dot text. That's how you access a variable from inside of a table. V dot text, v dot x, and then at v dot y. If that doesn't make sense, I will try my best to find a article and put it in the description and be sure to look at look at it because this is a very important topic that will be using all throughout your amazing programming career okay also if you guys ever wanted to learn X XHTML which is what you uh, one of the programming, lang programming languages for websites and leave a comment and ask me and I should start those tutorials because I'm working on the new sock monkey development website and it's looking pretty cool because the, the one currently kind of sucks okay so now we have this function and it's amazing and it goes through constantly goes to the I and looks for the V and so <coughs> we need to place this inside of love.graphics or love.draw so it is going to be if 
we're going to be using game states, which is to split up functions so we're not drawing the players and the buttons at the same time. Oh, <coughs> my gosh, I'm super off today. I'm sorry, guys. I need to pick up my game. If game state equals menu, then button underscore draw. So that means if the game state equals menu, then it's going to be going through that table all the time and drawing it every frame. Okay. So now we should have a visible button that says start. Let us see. Archive.love. Use.love. Love 0.8.0. Oh my gosh. Sorry, guys. It's uh, something going on with my computer. I need to make this a little bit easier for me to access. I will be sure to do that next time. You guys should definitely compile yours. And while you're doing that, I will be trying to find mine because of all this stupid glitchiness. Okay. Open. I just got a text. And look at that, that's freaking awesome. We have our first button. And what's awesome about tables is <coughs> if you wanted to go ahead right now, you could just do button underscore spawn. And you could just type in the data for another uh, button. And it would automatically draw it. We don't have to draw it over and over again. Because since we're already going through every thing inside of the table, we don't have to type love.graphics.draw this, love.graphics.draw this, this. It's just, it makes everything super simple. And if that doesn't make sense, I, like I said, I'll try to find an article on tables or something and post it in the description. <coughs> okay. So next tutorial, we're going to be checking if you clicked it or not. But before you go, I have a warm-up for you guys, and it is to make a quit button towards the bottom of the screen with the, uh, lined up with the start button. And... Don't just go in here and type love.graphics.print quit. I want you guys to use the button table. And it is so easy. If you guys, it's really easy. I just want you guys to make the quit button. And if you want to, just make some smiley face to the side. Whatever you want. Because you can make as many of these buttons as you want. You just need to type button underscore spawn x, y, text. And you're good. Okay, I hope this helps. This has been Monkey Bacon. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe. We're starting up a new project soon. It's going to be called Dr it, uh, Adventures of a Drunken Cowboy. Not official name, but it's going to be a pretty awesome name. <coughs> Doing it with Devin Peak, who is a guy who... I hope it's okay that I mentioned his name. He's an aspiring graphic design artist who left a comment on one of our videos, and I said that we could totally do a project with him, and they came, we came up with this idea, and we're going to be starting soon. And if you guys are... If any of you are aspiring graphic design artists, be sure to contact us, and if you want to do something with us, we'd be totally down. And just as long as you get to us, because it's harder for us to find people who would be okay with doing art with some 14-year-olds. Well, Derek's 15, you know, because he's super tight about his age, because he's really short. Okay, so I hope this helps. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe. This has been Monkey Bacon, Sock Monkey Development.